guys, Dustin Paint. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to clean your surfaces before you spray paint on them. These are the main three cleaners that I use in the shop. I've got a foaming glass cleaner. You wanna make sure to get a glass cleaner that's not gonna leave a film behind. I've got my anti-static cleaner. This is mainly used for raw bumpers. It takes the static out. Paint will not stick if they're static. Um, you can also use like rubbing alcohol for this. And then I've got a wax and grease remover. And this, you know, you can get from any local Walmart, local parts store, you know, wherever. This is a fender that we're gonna be cleaning. This is a brand new fender. It came in primer. We have sanded it with P400 get and just blew it off. We've also got a raw bumper, raw plastic bumper, brand new bumper. This is where you'll use your anti-static cleaner or rubbing alcohol. We've got a brand new door. Also came in primer with sanded with P400. This is the factory paint. We've sanded this with P800 and blew it off. So we will need to clean it before we paint. Spray your glass cleaner on it. Start cleaning. If the fender like this is off the car, you want to be sure to get right here where the bumper's going to mount to it and the back of the fender back here where it mounts to the car. Okay, so we're gonna take our foaming glass cleaner. We're gonna spray our fender with it. And when you're cleaning a fender like this, make sure to get on the back side of the fender where it mounts to the car. You wanna get anywhere that any dust or dirt could potentially blow out and land on your outside of your panel. Let's clean our door with our glass cleaner. This is one of the most important steps of painting anything really, because if it's not clean, for one, your paint might not stick very good. It might have problems down the road. And two, nobody wants a trashy and dusty and just rough looking paint job. We want this thing to be slick. We want it to look as much like glass as possible. And I think a lot of times this is a step that's kind of, you know, everybody does it, but it's kind of overlooked. Nobody really talks about it. That's what it looks like after we clean it with just the glass cleaner. As you can see, it got most of that dust and stuff off. And that'll take off anything, you know, anything that you might have put on there with your hands, any contaminants that you may have had that you can't see. Sometimes you can't see stuff. And you spray your paint on there and it starts to fish out. And then you've got to start all over. If you have a new door like I do, be sure to clean the back side of the door really good as well. Like they forgot to take a sticker off. I'll get that off. Remember, the cleaner the surface is that you're painting on, the cleaner your paint job will be. And there's gonna be dust and stuff in the air. There's no real way to prevent that. Even here in a downdraft paint booth, I still get little nibs, you know, little trash nibs that I have to nib out myself. But we wanna prevent as much of that as possible. And thoroughly cleaning the parts before painting is one way to do that. Okay, we've got all our parts cleaned with glass cleaner. As you can see, they look much cleaner than they did before. Our door. Ah, but look, what do we have there? See that? Something that didn't come off with the glass cleaner. We'll see if our degreaser gets rid of it, and if not, I'll show you how to get rid of it. Much cleaner than they were before. So now, we're gonna move on. We're gonna clean everything with our wax and grease remover. I put my wax and grease remover in this little spray bottle here, and I just spray my parts down and wipe them off. Now with wax and grease remover, I'll wipe it like so. And then I'll take, see how wet my rag is? I'll flip my rag over to the dry side, kind of dry it off. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is after the degreaser. I don't know if you guys remember. See that little spot right there? It was there after the glass cleaner. The degreaser did not get it. So what I have, I have a little bit of lacquer thinner on a rag here. And I'll just take and wipe over that spot. Just wipe it off. Now it's gone. So if you have any spots that don't come off with your glass cleaner or wax and grease remover, don't be afraid to take a little bit of lacquer thinner on a rag and just wipe it off. This is our parts after we got done cleaning them with our glass cleaner and our degreaser. As you can see, way cleaner, way cleaner. I don't want to touch them. You don't want to touch them anymore after you clean them, unless you have gloves on or you're tacking it off, you're touching it with a tack rag. But as you can see, they're way cleaner now. So now the last thing that we'll do before we paint these is right before we spray our sealer, we're gonna hit them with our tack rag and then that's gonna ensure that we've gotten all the dust and little particles off before we paint that we can. Moving on to our raw plastic bumper. If you have a painted bumper, you clean it with glass cleaner and degreaser just like we did the rest of these parts. But in this case, this is a brand new raw plastic bumper. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is clean it with an anti-static cleaner. And that's all we'll do to this and it'll be ready to paint. You do have to um, spray adhesive promoters and stuff like that on it but that's something for another video so now we'll clean this up all right so we cleaned all of our panels with glass cleaner and then went over them with degreaser except for our bumper our bumper we cleaned with our anti-static cleaner so now all we have to do is tack it off right before we seal it and we'll be ready to paint take a look Thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did or if you didn't, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Peace.